How you guys look fuck here and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the 85 rated French icon Emmanuel Petit. He cost me 259,000 coins and in the 7 games that I played him with he scored me 2 goals and got me 2 assists. He has freestyle weak foot and freestyle skill moves and then getting off into his in-game stats for me his main standout stats were his 88 stand tackle, 87 slide tackle, 86 shot power and 86 interceptions and then getting into his uh, icon profile this was the baby Petit uh, who played at Monaco under Arsene Wenger who played at a variety of different positions including left midfield center back central midfield and often left back hence why he's been given this left back card and uh, yeah guys getting up in towards the heights for this Emmanuel Petit card I absolutely loved him I thought he was fantastic now six of the seven games that I used this card for I did play him as a center mid and then the first game that I used him with I used him in the left back position now it was never my intention to review him as a left back because I think he's got such a well-rounded card in both attack and defense that he can play in that centre midfield position. But for the first game, I did use him in left back just to test what he would be like. And he played pretty well. I mean, I know it was only one game, but for me, he did his job. He was able to defend well, uh, able to go up well with the ball, you know, because passing was decent. But for me, he does need a little bit more pace in the left back position. So if you are going to go and buy him and use him as a left back, definitely put a chemistry style, which is going to increase his pace. Um, I would say that is a necessity if you're going to go and buy him and, and play him in that position. But anyway, getting off into using him as a centre mid, for me, his first pro was his tackling. He is great on the defence. I mean, 86 defending is brilliant. He does have 86, uh, sorry, 80, 88 stand tackle and 87 slide tackle, which is fantastic. And yeah, his tackling and jam was brilliant. He made some critical tackles for me when other teams were quite dangerous on the attack. So he was very good at doing that. The high, high work rate was also pretty decent in that he was able to go up and then also go back and make important tackles as well. A lot of people wouldn't be interested in high, high work rates because that would make them think that players would, that, that the player would become well too tired. But his stamina is pretty decent. So I think his stamina is actually in the mid to high 80s, which is very good and very important as well, actually, uh, for for FIFA cards but yeah his tackling was just fantastic and then the second pro for me was his passing uh, in particular his through balls were just amazing I know through balls look to be a very OP thing in FIFA 18 but his through balls in general were just fantastic and I think he's he's quite unlucky to only have two assists I mean if, if I was more consistent with my finishing he'd probably have about four or five assists to be quite honest but uh, for me his through balls passing in general both short and uh, long passing were both very very good and then getting off in towards his final pro for me is that he's a very adaptable player if you want to play with a left back you can play him there he'll do you uh, he'll do a very good job for you if you want to play him as center mid play him there cdm even center back he could be played as a center back 80 paces as a center back obviously would be pretty good and 86 defending and 83 physical there's some very very nice stats but you gotta remember he's not that tall either so he could play as a center back if you wanted to but i personally wouldn't recommend it for me this guy uh, has to be played as either a, uh, a CDM or as a centre mid um, because I think that's just where he personally does play best. And getting off into the cons, for me, it is his pace. Now, the pace con only applies to him if you're going to use him as a left back. Uh, for me, in the centre midfield position, pace is not that important. It's a little bit important, I suppose, but 80 pace as a CDM or as a centre mid is obviously fine. And um, so, in terms of using him in the midfield, for me, there was no cons. Only at the left back, obviously pace being a bit of an issue for him there but in general just such a fantastic card to use i would definitely recommend you guys buying pretty much any icon if you can afford them because they are definitely going to go up in price for example my crespo has gone up at about 200k since i bought him so definitely invest in icons guys uh it worked for legends in the previous few years it's gonna work the same for icons in my view this year but anyway guys that's gonna finish off this uh, this icon review thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later